right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Right up here. And these will automatically make new shapes as well. And we will fix the colors once we have all these created. So, yeah. These uh, corners, just make sure you connect these. There we go. And we got this smaller area right up here. Alright, so control shift X to get rid of the O line. We're going back to the Mosul. We're going to hold shift. So, your top layer is selected. We're going to hold shift, click on the uh, right click, and go into submerge layers. And double click a little icon box and select this color All right so I'm gonna hold control click on the text layer right click and let's go into so let's go into merge layers and now we're going to make a new layer right click clipping mask let's go to our brush tool and with our brush tool let's make the color into white increase the size Increase the size and the opacity and flow is all the way to the middle, hardness is all the way down. And I'm just going to paint like this. I'm just going to. And now with the white brush, we're gonna paint on the bottom of these uh, letters. So, right over here. Just like that. Um, take your time as you need don't rush it because if you rush you're going to end up with a non-satisfactory product result and you're just going to get discouraged so alright uh, change this most of the overlay we could copy again so hold alt and drag as you can see and now I'm just going to click on the top layer, hold shift, click on the bottom one. So I have everything selected. I'm going to go control G. And I'm going to hit control J to copy this group. And I'm going to hit control E to flatten this one. And we kept a folder here for backup. So now we got this. So I'm going to right click, go into blending options, stroke. Here we are. Take this color, uh, make it dark, something like that. Okay. As you can see, and let's hit it right. Let's make a new layer. And now to patch up, and now to patch up these uh, empty spaces, you can use your pencil, or you can use your brush. Um, if there's brush settings, alright, so in brush settings, if you turn your spacing all the way down, alright, right over here, if you turn opacity and flow all the way up, as well as hardness, here we go, we're going to eyedropper, uh, let me see, where is that, the eyedropper is, right over here, alright, so select uh, this color. We go to our brush tool. We're gonna zoom in and uh, make sure this is make sure this is under your text. You can just paint right over here. Uh, if you click and hold shift and click on a another spot, it will make it straight. Let me show you so. As you can see, uh, if I click over here, hold shift, click. I'll make it completely straight. Just a little helpful tip. Lay over here. Shift click. You go shift and click. As well as over here, shift click. And yeah, let's just fill that in. Alright, so now that we have this, let's merge all these together. Uh, we have this uh, 
Actually, I'm gonna take this layer, I'm gonna hold alt, I'm gonna make a copy, so drag, drag, and I'm gonna go take this effects icon, I'm gonna drag it to the trash can. And I'm just gonna um, right click. I'm actually going to remove the effects for this one, so I'll take off the stroke. Alright, and this one keeps it. Alright, once you're happy with that, um, let's hold control, click, right click, and let's go into merge layers. And now with our previous uh, folder, uh, we're going to hold alt, drag this up, make a copy, hold alt, and drag this, make a copy. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is, alright, so if you see, this one has uh, all the background stuff, and this one doesn't, and that's because when I make a new layer and I clip it to the one with the background stuff what I could do is use my brush tool and I could paint on the background as you will see in a second so I could actually paint on the background like this uh, obviously this is uh, browser software so it's going to be a bit laggy Switch the colors, paint all the way through. It's actually very laggy right now. All right, let's change this to overlay. Show Alt C, right click and flip vertical. It's actually Control Alt C, right click and let's go flip vertically. There we go. Um. Let's go into the bottom one, blending options. Let's go for a drop shadow. Angle is going to be 90. Opacity is going to be all the way up. Multiply to normal. Spread is going to be all the way up. Let's take this down. Um, if you want to make this background 3D, you can. All you got to do is just increase the distance and select a darker color like that. Or if you want to keep this flat in 2D, just add a stroke. Let's make this white. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. And we are almost finished. Let's take everything. So hold shift, click on the top, right click. Uh, let's actually group this up. So 